hi guys welcome back to another video so today i'm back again with another cute tutorial for a handbag so this handbag has a it's um a typical tote handbag but it is a wide bottom and when you place it somewhere it sits very nicely it does not fall over so let's get started so this is the fabric that I am using and those are the dimensions and I also cut an equal piece of interfacing. I'm using the heavy kind of interfacing, not the light or medium one. Then I ironed on the interfacing. Then I marked two inches going in from the top and then I drew those lines. Then I went back again with my scissors. So when I open it up, that is the shape that I have. So these are my handles. I went on to prepare my handles. And they were each 14 inches by 3 inches. And I also cut some light interfacing. I ironed on the interfacing and then I would fold both edges inside. And then fold it enough again and then iron. Then I went on to sew this on the sewing machine. I now took my big piece or the body of the bag and then I also took my handles. I marked two inches from the edges and then I pinned my handles then I went on to sew the handles on first I 
After sewing the handles on both sides, I now took So at that point the zipper was on and then I now folded my press back and then I also made sure that my zip was about halfway open and then I went on to the sides and then I stitched the sides. After stitching the sides, I now went on to the corners and then I folded them up again and pinned and then I stitched the sides as well, the bottom corners. So at that point the outer of the bag is almost done then I went then I wanted to insert an inner pocket and then I took this 7 by 8 inches piece of fabric and then I, on one side I folded and ironed two times and then on the other side I just folded once and ironed. Then I went on to stitch the side that I had folded two times. Then after that I now pinned it onto my lining and then I sewed right around that edge. So that is my inner lining done. Then I now folded it again in half and then I stitched the sides and the bottom corners together. Sorry I 
So after that, I now tint my lining inside out. Then I took my lining and then I started to insert the bag inside the lining. And on the top part, I would fold the lining. I would fold the edge of the lining and just pin the edges together. So I did this somewhere near the zip but not too close to the zip. Then I put pins right round. Then I went on to stitch. So after that, I now turned the bag inside out. And that was basically it. I really like how the bag came out. It's really cute. And I really like that the bottom is like super flat and the bag sits by itself. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more cute press videos like these ones. Bye.